The Accra Metropolitan Assembly says the National Sanitation Initiative can only achieve the desired result if it is backed by law. Now, the Public Relations Officer of the Assembly, Numo Blafo, says apathy associated with the exercise can be reversed through appropriate laws and sanctions. The Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development on November 1, 2014 declared the first Saturday of every month a National Sanitation Day across Ghana. This is in response to the 2014 cholera outbreak that claimed hundreds of lives. Though a voluntary cleanup exercise, the initiative is to involve all residents in effort at improving sanitation. However, the program has been met with apathy across Across the country. This has prompted the Ministry of Local Government to lay a bill in Parliament to give legal backing to the initiative to allow the various assemblies to prosecute individuals who refuse to take part in the exercise. Until Parliament passed this bill into law, I don't think we can do anything much. We all talk to the fact that yes, cleanliness is next to godliness, but how many of us actually practice it? What we have now is not a law, so you cannot compel people to do or to obey. It's only to appeal to their consciences. When it becomes law, then we know that when you are not taking part, we can prosecute. Public relations officer of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Numo Blafo, also defended the failure of assemblymen to mobilize their people to embrace the initiative. They are supposed to mobilize the people to come out, but you see, they also say they have challenges because the moment they go telling people to come and work after the people are expecting something from them, which they don't have. We have come from somewhere where we have seen that clean up exercise after that, you know, people are given some kind of refreshment and all that. And that thing has, been, has stuck into people's minds. So it's, very, it's becoming very difficult pulling them away from that expectation. Numo Blafo urged all Ghanaians, regardless of their socio-political thinking, to join the crusade to help rid the country of filth. has engulfed most parts of the capital after the national sanitation exercise eight days ago. A check by TV3 revealed most areas like Tema Station, Ridge Road, Ring Road Central and others have not witnessed any form of cleanup as a result of apathy. This was the situation along the Tema Station, the National Hockey Stadium, Ghana Health Service Department and the National Lottery Head Office before the Saturday cleanup exercise. The maggot infested gutters remained choked three days after the National Sanitation Day on February 6. According to the people in the area, not a single soul was ported around on the cleanup day. Not even the transport unions and other operatives within the Tema station found it prudent to mobilize to clean up the area. Additionally, people, especially males, stand in the open here and urinate at broad daylight, increasing the stench in the area. The main drain along Paloma Hotel on the Ring Road Central was another example of the no-show on the National Sanitation Day. Plastic waste laid packed in here as though they were deliberately arranged for a purpose. These plastic waste have been here for weeks before the February exercise and are still here increasing in numbers. Erosion has also caused severe damage to portions of the drainage affecting the concrete slabs. Some people have also turned the main drainage here into a place of convenience. But the Accra Metropolitan Assembly avoids blame for poor supervision. Well, the Assembly has that authority. And we have our DEHOS, that is our district health um, environmental health officers who go around to ensure those issues. But let's not forget the fact that AMA is big and we don't have the numbers, that is the number of staff that will cover the whole area. So most of the time it seems like their work are not being seen, but they are working. And if you go, they have the records to show that they've prosecuted number, a number of people for insanitary conditions that they have created.